Hi, my name is Rolinda Ruth and I'm the Director of Educational Resources and OER Specialist at UA Cossetot. And I wanted to talk to you today about formatting in MLA style. We are using the ninth edition now and I've recently posted a video. Uh, it's kind of an overview of MLA style ninth edition, but I'd like to cover formatting a little bit better. So let's look at that. The first thing we'll need to do is open up our Word document. And I usually try to set the margins first. So I'm going to click on layout up here at the top and over here to the left where it says margins. I'm on normal, which is one inch all the way around. And that is exactly what you want for MLA style. Uh, so we have that. Now let's click on the home tab again. We'll need to set our font. So where it says font, there's an arrow here to the right. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select my font. Let's try typing Times New Roman. You can use some different kinds, but most instructors are going to require Times New Roman 12 point font. Now what's interesting is down here you have a tab that says set as default. If you haven't done that, I recommend doing it because then every document you open in Word will open in this exact font. So if I click on that, it asks me, do you want to set it? For this document only or all documents? I would select all documents because if I do need something different I can change that. So I'm going to click on OK. So now our font is set. Now we need to look at our line spacing. So up here at the top where it says paragraph, let's click on the right. Okay this is not what we want definitely. We want double spacing. And over here where it says before and after, go ahead and put this on zero. So you've got a zero, a zero, and double spacing. Again, set as default, all documents, okay. So in MLA, we do not have a cover page un unless your instructor requires one. But MA style itself does not have one. APA uses a cover page. But in MLA, this is what we do. You're going to type your name first, then your instructor's name, then the course ID. Let's say, let's use a comp. This is the one we use for comp and the name of the course is Composition 1, and then we need the date, but we don't want it in the typical format. We want the day first, so we'll put 30 August 2022. So that is what your paper should look like, the very first page only. So we have that. Now what we need to do is insert our pagination. So let's go up back to the top and click on insert and page number. Top of page, plane number three. Now we need to type our last name and space. And you can see it'll just say Doe one or whatever your last name is, one. Now, if you did not set your font to a default, you will need to highlight this entire thing and make sure you select the Times New Roman 12 point font. All the font in the paper should be consistent. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna double click here and I'll just show you what this pagination will do. Like if we scroll down, we go on to the next page, you'll see that it automatically puts the pagination in for you. So let's look at our works cited page. The works cited page will be the very last page in your paper. So you just type works cited and this needs to be centered. I usually just highlight it, click
click on center and then enter and then go back to the left and let's see I think I have something that I can nope I did not so let's see if we can uh, grab uh, something let's try this one I'm just gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it right here so what I have to do you can see this went in Georgia 9 so it changed the font so I'm gonna have to find Times New Roman 12 point font now what I need to do is use the hanging indent on the works cited page it's very important that all your entries are alphabetized so you need to make sure that you do that put them in alphabetical order they should be double spaced but we also have to use a hanging indent so let's look at how to do that up here at the top where it says paragraph let's pull that up again then we have indentation special hanging so let's click on that and that's how your entries should look in alphabetical order hanging indent so the second and subsequent lines are indented and that's really all there is to MLA formatting if you have any additional questions be sure to come by the ERC at any UA Casa campus.